Hi and welcome back. So at the end of the last video I was just demonstrating how you could easily split your blend shapes into two. So hopefully from there you've gone on to generate all the blend shapes you need. So let's just have a quick recap um, over the blend shapes we have in this scene. So we have the main set of blend shapes which are basically full shapes so we've got they've either got the whole mouth affected or the eyelids affected we haven't got any eyebrow blend shapes and that's because we're going to use the joints to drive the shapes of the eyebrow so don't worry about those now over here we have our two sort of generator blend shapes our left and right and we saw them previously and they're set up like you see so that we can bake out you know various shapes from them So these drive into these, which then we can bake out. I've also generated these. Now these these are just from the, um, I'll just show you on here. This is from the lips one, which we saw in the uh, previous video. But again, these are just generators as well. So these are blend shapes applied. As you can see, if I set them to zero and one, so they're just following exactly the same technique. Creating a blend shape and using the blend shape weights, either via the uh, painting the weights or by the component editor, to dictate which areas uh, are used. And I've got these because, yes, we could pull the, the lips around with joints, but sometimes you need a, nice, a nicer shape that you can achieve with joints. And with this particular rig, yes, we're going to use joints to pull the lips round, but I thought it might be nice to have the combination of the two with a switch there so that you can use the joints for the rougher shapes or you can use these blend shapes to get nicer shapes. So that's the only reason I've added these in. So you don't feel like you need to as well because it may be that you just, you're just happy with the joints and you, you know painting the weights to set that up. So they're the main shapes. These are our generators, which will help spit out divisions of these shapes. And over here, we have those divisions. So as you can see, we have the left and the right sides of all these. And there's a couple of models over the top of each other there. And a couple more over the top. So there's a lot more shapes hidden in there. I'll just quickly drag these down. Well, you get the idea. So we've got the mouth shapes there. We've got the blinks it's divided into left and right. Puffing out his cheeks divided into left and right. And so on and so on. You know, pucker, left and right, oh, left and right. You know, all sorts of other stuff. All hidden away under that mesh there. That's it. So there we have all our shapes. We've got our frown. That's all set up. So all we need to do it now is just select all those and select the head. And then go to deform blend shape and just define our blend shape. So for this one, we're just going to call it head B shapes. And usually um, if you're using the Maya 2016 extension 2, um, as you can see here, that's what I'm using. Um, it doesn't have the option. I mean, if you're using the previous version, I would set in here to be front of chain, just so that the blend shapes affect the model after you know the uh, the the joints. Um, but I'm just going to leave it on automatic for now. So I'll click create. And then if we go into our blend shapes here, you know, we've got them all listed and they're all there ready to work. You know, remember essentially these controls here are going to drive the blend shape. So as we move that around like so, we want that to be represented here with the blend shapes moving around. So, 
One thing that I have done, which we shouldn't have done, which I'm going to show now, let's just get rid of that blend shape node. I'm just going to undo it. That's it. So basically, we want to select all of these apart from the midway eyes. So we've got our upper and lower eyelids there. We want the full ones. That's it. So let's go back. If I just press G, that should just repeat the command. So we've got our main blend shapes in there now, minus those halfway points. And that's because we want those halfway points to kick in halfway through the blinks. Let's have a look. Lower lid right. So basically, if we look at this, you can see that halfway the model is going through the eye, but we want to trigger that halfway point there. And rather than setting up another blend shape and then setting up something so that it works half with one and then the second half with the second blend shape, we can just trigger it off the same one. So I'll just show you with this particular shape. So let's say, well, let's do lower lid left because that's a bit, that'll be a bit easier. So lower lid left. So we want this one, mid lower lid left. And then we're going to select the head and we're going to go to deform, um, edit blend shapes, add. We're going to open up the options, specify node. So we want the main blend shape node and we're going to add an in-between target. And we want that to be triggered halfway through the transition of the main blink um, blend shape. So if I just deselect for now, we open up the blend shapes, we've got target index here. Now we know our BS lower lead, lid left, like so. So that's number one. So that's the first one in the index. That'll be number two, number three, number four, number five, and so on. So we want to affect blend shape one. So let's go back and select our lower eyelid again. and the head. So we're adding a blend shape to the blend shape node as an in-between with the target index of one. So that's the first in the list. And we want it to be triggered up until sort of the in-between the halfway point. So let's apply and close. And you saw there that the eyelid actually changed. That's because this is set to 0 0.5. So that's effectively the full um, the full blend shape um, of that midway lower lid. So if I go down to zero, if we go up, so that's the midpoint blend shape, and then it's now transitioning to the full blend shape, like so. Um, let me just select the blend shape node on its own. That's better, so I'm not, not seeing the, uh, the mesh. So you can see there, yep, yeah, just pops through just a little bit there. But then we, we can just go back in and tweak that blend, mid, midway blend shape just to pull the eyelid out a little bit, just to compensate for that. Like so, but let's just lower lid right. Let's just compare the two. So as you can see, that one is much nicer than that one, which is going right into the eye. And as I say, yeah, that might just be going over the, still going into the eye a little bit, but you can just tweak that halfway blend shape. So that was just a little extra tip, just to uh, just on what to do with the the eyelids. Um, so at this stage, we have our blend shapes in, and they're ready to be connected up. What we need to do next is build the skeleton, paint the weights, and get that in and ready to be connected up as well. And like I said previously, I'm not going to go through the process of building the skeleton and painting all the weights. You know, they're, they're quite fundamental uh, elements when it comes to rigging. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the skeleton now, uh, get all the weights painted, and then in the next video, 
the skeleton will be in. I'll just discuss the skeleton structure briefly before we start uh, looking at connecting it up. 